Hey guys, welcome. This is a video where I'm gonna showcase my mechanical pencil collection. Now, as a huge stationery fan, I have amassed a ton of pens, pencils, and markers, and all that good stuff over the years. And I also love, love, love binge watching stationery collections on YouTube. So I just thought, hey, I have a lot of stationery too. Why not just share my experiences? And hopefully, some of y'all will find this interesting. So. I'm just gonna start with my collection of mechanical pencils here. This is the full collection. As you can see, I have way more than necessary. <laughs> really, collect. Um, sorry, mechanical pencils can last you a lifetime if you're getting the good quality ones, and you definitely don't need this many. But I have a problem, so let's just go start with the cheapest one. This is a very commonly found one is pilot rex grip here you can see i've um filled it with red lead which i'll get into the leads later this is a plastic body one with a um rubberized grip and it's it's just really classic you know good good solid buy very cheap uh from where i am i can get it for less than two dollars and yeah very popular with students, uh, one of my favorites. And this, this is also incidentally my favorite color and you'll see a lot of it popping up later. Okay, so that's number one. Then uh, going on with another pilot mechanical pencil. This is a, I actually don't know, I don't think they have a like kind of a casual name to it. This is, you know, the Rex grip obviously in 0 0.5 millimeter. That this is, they just labeled it H325. Uh, sorry about the glare. Yeah. It's a solid pencil. It's more pricey, but uh, not my favorite. Definitely. It's more on the, the technical, like, graphing pencil kind of uh, deal going on. Yeah, which is my preference, but not really this one. This comes in a lot of colors. I know many people are a huge fan of this pencil. But I'm gonna show you another one that's very similar that is like I prefer that indefinitely to this. But it's still a very good pencil and very nice for its price. Okay, uh, moving on to, yeah, like I said, a pencil that's similar to this, but I definitely prefer these. Okay, I have three of them. <laughs> This, is that weird that that okay that's probably indicated indication that I have a problem this I really really love It's the zebra color flight in 0 0.5 all of these pencils are 0 0.5 with the exception of this one which I'll get into later these oh first you can see I have two of these I it's my favorite color like I said <laughs> uh, yeah these are um really great again they are kind of similar to the pilot one it's they're both kind of a sleek more minimal um body without a rubber grip it's got kind of a ribbed grip where you can hold and it's got metal parts it's made of metal and plastic but basically both of them and yeah it's it's very low footprint and very uh, more more of a technical drawing kind of thing that that it reminds you of what graphing like technical like architects would use it. And I I prefer this over the pilot one for a few reasons. One, it's got a hexagonal body. Uh, let me show you. Goodness, it's hard to film. Right, it's got a hexagonal body, so it actually is similar. Um, when you hold it to an actual wooden pencil. I'm gonna try and find one now. I have a lot of pens on my desk as well. Okay, so this is a Palomino Blackwing and you can see that it's just a bit wider, a bit thicker than an actual wooden pencil. Yeah, and I find that the hexagonal shape really um, not just feels better in the hand, it feels you know more ergonomic, but also it doesn't roll around. Like I, a huge problem I have with this pencil is that it rolls around. It actually falls off the desk because it's round. 
is perfectly circular in shape. Not my preference. This solves the problem perfectly. And also, um, this one is super, super ingenious. It has this eraser mechanism that is quite uh, uncommonly found, which is a shame because it is like by far the best addition to a mechanical pencil I've ever used, I've ever seen. It is basically like this kind of, if I take it out, you can see, it's a mechanism where you, when you rotate, it extrudes the eraser, much like a lipstick would. So what are the benefits of that? Like, you might say, oh, that's such a little thing, like, oh, it's just an eraser. Well, no, no. If you use mechanical pe mm, pencils frequently, you'll also, and, but you don't want to carry on an eraser because that can be inconvenient, you'll be relying a lot on the actual eraser that comes with the pencil. Normally, what you'll find in like pretty much 99% of mechanical pencils, if they do have an eraser, it's going to be this kind of format where you have a little cover, you take it out, you put it on the table, you hold it in your hand, and anyway, it's a very tiny little cover. And you use the eraser, and then you put it back. The huge drawback of that is, of course, the fact that you have to take off the cover, and you have to, oh goodness, what happened? And you take off the cover, and it's very, very, very likely to be lost. So I really dislike this whole little th system going on, and also, the eraser, because you know, if you have a mechanical pencil, which I think most people do, you will understand, you can only use up to this level. Anything beyond that, you can't get the eraser out anymore because it will just be level with the plastic that holds it. It's pretty, um, it's not the smartest decision, you know what I mean? But it is present in so many pencils. This solves all of the problems. You, first, you don't need the cover because if you extru leave it extruded, you can write. Let me just get some paper. Uh, yeah, you can write something and then just flip it around. It will, the eraser is already there. There's no cover to take off or keep track of and you just erase. It is so good. And also, it makes use of the whole eraser. You're, nothing is wasted because you can just keep extruding extra. I'm sorry, th this, uh, me talking about the eraser took a bit while, uh, a while, but it's just, I love it so much. And I have a lot more here. Uh, this one is really for collection purposes. And you can see this is uh, the same pencil in a very, very beautiful um, aqu aquamarine. What? No, aquamarine is not this color. Okay, ultramarine kind of purpley blue and it's got sparkles in it. Yeah, this whole line, the Zebra Color Flight, not only would I recommend for its functionality, it's also got great color selection of both solid color and this kind of shiny ones and also glossy ones. Uh, glossy, transparent bodies, very, very beautiful. And they all have this eraser mechanism, of course. So yeah, I highly recommend these. These are my top favorite, uh, these are my top one of my favorite pencils. Sorry, uh, first time filming, bit nervous. Anyways, so we move on to, this is kind of a very um, uncommon pencil. It is the, it's by Uni, it's kind of, it's called the Alpha Gel. If you can see, Alpha Gel, yeah, 0 0.5. What this pencil is, is basically has a grip that is really, really, really soft can see that I'm like when you press on it it just deforms and it's really really nice to hold it's soft and it's it's very comfortable in the hand unfortunately that is in my opinion my the only thing I like about this pencil I bought it online I didn't really have uh, a chance to try it like in a real life store I didn't the so the rest of the pencil just um, like I didn't get to test it. I don't like the rest of the pencil that much. It's very much plastic. And I don't think it has any metal parts. Okay, this part is metal, but I generally prefer more metal in the pencils because it actually has a, a nice like touch and also it uh, adds a nice weight. This one is not really weighted well, but if you're into this, um, you know, more ergonomic experiences with your pencils, definitely check it out. Uh, on a side note, I have another pen 
with the same alpha gel grip technology thing. This is a much thicker grip as you can see and it's, it's way squishier. It's so fun. Uh, I love this thing. This one is full, full metal. This one is not. So it's not my preference, but this grip is really, really cool. So check that out. This one is quite pricey though. Oh, I forgot to go over the price. These are um, about mid-range price, like three to four bucks for a pencil. This one it can go up to five to six or seven bucks. Okay, now I'm gonna go through some of my top top choices for mechanical pencils and really what I recommend, what I would recommend to anyone. This is the Pilot the Shaker. This is a very, very old pencil. If you ever like know the uh, history of mechanical pencils, like a nerd like me and read up on this stuff, you'll know that this pencil is the original shaker, I think made by Pilot in the 1990s or something. Um, and they, it's still on sale. They didn't update this this uh, the design or anything because it's it's still popular. Now, what a shaker is is you probably already know. You shake the pencil, and the lead extrudes. So you don't actually have to press it. That will allow you to uh, continue writing without breaking like a train of thought. You're breaking your focus. You don't need to press on it. You just shake it, and more lead is come out. So it's very convenient that way. But what I really uh, bought this pencil for is not this shaking mechanism. For me, it's like more of a gimmick. Uh, I, c I deal with like non-shaker pencils just fine, but this pencil is so nice to hold in the hand. It's really, really nicely weighted. It's got a lot of metal part. Like this whole thing is metal and inside there's a metal, like the actual spring that allows you to shake it uh, and advance the lead so it's very heavy a pencil some people may not like it but i really find that heavy pencils are beneficial uh, heavy pens and pencils just in general because nice is first of all the weight distribution is nice so when you're holding it it feels comfortable and you can get a very dark line with a light touch because you're using the weight of the pencil to draw to draw lines as well um, yeah, and also this whole form of the the pencil is like kind of a very smooth um, tapered body. Compare that with uh, this one, for example. This one is not tapered. This one has a very sharp like ridges going on at the end. That's not my preference. Um, but then, then again, it's just my opinions. This one is for some reason i can't i really can't articulate why but it feels so much nicer in the hand one complaint i have about this is it's such an old pencil it's got really old design like this font why uh okay never mind it's the 1990s it's okay but they they also only come in this one color black and orange definitely not my favorite color combination but it's okay so I recently discovered these and they are becoming my new favorite, the Pilot Opt pencils. Uh, goodness, it's so bright. Okay, in my opinion, these are kind of like a remake of the Pilot the Shaker. Um, why I say that is because it actually feels really similar in my hand when I write with it as the Shaker does, but with more improvements to the design. First, it's uh you know it's got a refreshed design it's more um more matte plastic so it actually is kind of a softer more ex uh like very expensive look without actually being expensive and it's got a lot of different patterns this one is a pastel pink uh polka dot one you see this is a matte plastic it's very nice this one is a white like floral not floral plant leaves design on it and they're both they all have this like nice grip grip this isn't the grip this is the clip on it yeah it's got a nice clip on it and they both have a rubberized grip that's not really squishable it's very hard but it's it's still nice so like these are just 
tiny little adjustments to original shaker uh, that I feel really brings out the difference. It, it's so, it's just so nice. And best of all, it's so cheap. The, the shaker can run up to $9 for a pencil. I mean, for a pencil that is pretty expensive considering that you can get really cheap pencils for like that also does the same job but then i bought it because it it really felt very good but this feels like even better with better design and for cheaper this one can uh just runs about two to three dollars or if you're buying online if you're overseas i uh overseas like not in asia i think you can get it for about four to five dollars but this is i would highly highly recommend these and they're my new favorite. I re I only got it like this week. This is the first pencil I got. I loved it so much, I just bought another one uh, for collective purposes, I suppose. Okay, now these are all 0 0.5 LEDs, pencils. They're my preference because they, it's the perfect balance of um, that I can write with it. It's thin enough to write with, but it's also thick enough to draw with. Like, I don't like 0 0.5 seven pencils because they're a little bit too thick to write and anything thinner than 0 0.5 i know the i know there's like 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 lead pencils those are just too thin and i like i'm really afraid of the lead breaking but i also have a mechanical pencil here this is the um cochleo mp2 sharp pencil it is super thick Zero, zero point, one point three millimeters lead diameter. Let me just compare that so you can have an idea of how thick the lead is. That is very, very thick lead. And if I just draw a line, a normal like line, and a normal line with a zero point five. Zero point five is a very popular one as well as the most common. You can see that it's super thick for good measure let me just compare that with a palomino black wing this is this is a sharpened like wooden pencil you can see that this is pretty much the same thing so i want to use this one for is really for drawing it's it's basically a wooden pencil like i get the same thickness and the same effects of a, a thick wooden pencil without having to sharpen it and it's just really good for sketching, for covering large areas with with graphite, and I just overall love it. One complaint I have about this is that the grip actually attracts a lot of dirt. Um, I don't know why. I wish it didn't, but it does. And it also has the ingenious, like, it's the same rotational eraser mechanism as the pencils that I love so much here, the Zebra Color Flight. They also have the extruding eraser, which is awesome. But this one, I would say that is, you pretty much can't find it in um, Western countries unless you order it online. It's a pretty, pretty rare pencil, but anything more than, any pencil that's thicker than 0 0.7, like 0 0.9 or 1.0 or 1.3 pencil like this one here, I would just use for drawing purposes. So if you're an artist, if you're you know into finding a replacement for a traditional wooden pencil, but you still like the feeling of drawing with a wooden pencil, highly, highly recommend this. This is the first time I've seen a product like that, by the way. So very fascinating and I love it. Um, now let's go over the LEDs. So this MP2 Sharp, obviously you need a zero point, you need a 1.3 LED that comes with it. Um, most of the time you can buy it like in a pack alongside the pencil. But other than that, I think 1.3 LEDs are quite rare to find. Um, these LEDs are also super thick. Like they are super, th super dark. They write super thick and dark. So if I just draw something, you can see that it's so dark and it's very, very concentrated like graphite and it actually smudges a lot. Uh, it smudges quite a bit. Um, yeah, just erase that. 
Mm, but this is the lead that goes with that. This is the only lead that uh, goes with it that I have found so far. So I can't really pick and choose here. Now this, by this A I N, I don't know how to pronounce that, by Pentel, uh, two B zero point five lead is my go to lead. Like I have it filled in all of these pencils, all of the zero point five pencils have this lead. Um, uh, exception with this one. This one is red lead, but this is so nice to me. It's very. It's a very dark two B. I I don't know like how people like their mechanical pencils but i like them dark i like it uh darker like so because the lines are so thin it needs to be dark to be visible so i really just go for 2b lead and this 2b lead almost writes like a 3b yeah that's what i meant to say sorry uh of course this lead also comes in 3b 4b 5b and those run really dark the darker your lead the softer is gonna be the more fragile it's gonna be so i don't know I, I find that this strikes a very good balance and it's got a really nice lead box design <laughs> like some leads it, they're very good but then the box just doesn't appeal to me um so that's a shame i just go for this all the time it's pretty affordable 40 pieces yeah a tip on buying lead is you really gotta check how many pieces you're getting for your money because some some of them come with 60 pieces this comes with 40 like i said some come with only 20. some of the colored leads out there like the pilot eno comes to mind those leads you're paying like you buy a pack you get six leads you get six that's it that's very little so um when you buy leads i would highly recommend checking how many pieces you're actually getting these two are by the same like under the same line pentel a i n uh, but they are the colored leads blue and red and like this is what i meant check how many pieces you're getting they have the exact same like packaging this one comes with 20 leads and this 40. so yeah uh, just make sure you count how, you know the lead count in each box these are uh, color leads. I just tried them out, like for sketching. I really prefer sketching in color over sketching in black and white, like graphite. Uh, not only because it's it looks nicer, it looks more interesting, but also it's it doesn't smudge as not as much. And if I were to do line art over, it doesn't compete with the black ink. Okay, this is the red lead. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have the blue lead used anywhere. I'm sorry about that, but okay, this red lead. Uh, one complaint I have about this lead is that it's very, very fragile. It breaks quite easily. So I, uh, for colored sketching, I just default to kind of cold erase pencils instead. This one's by Faber-Castell. I know it's very popular ones by Prismacolor. I have that too. Um, but yeah, I, I find that I prefer regular pencils for colored pencil sketching. Um, but I still showcase this anyway because it's part of my mechanical pencil collection. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I will put some links down below if you're interested in any of these products. And feel free to ask more questions. I'd be happy to answer them. And more videos on my stationery collection coming soon, I guess. Yeah, bye.